Dog and Antique and Classic Boat Show went off without a hitch this weekend. Close to 30 vintage boats were on display in the South Okanagan. And as you're about to see, these vessels are becoming a very rare breed. Docked under the hot Okanagan sun at the Penticton Lakeshore Resort Marina are 27 boats that are turning heads and getting all kinds of attention. They are part of this year's Okanagan Antique and Classic Boat Show, and they are said to be few and far between. Many of these boats are one-of-a-kind boats uh, built in the 1930s and 40s, and they're getting very rare. There's very few left that have been kept uh, restored and um, preserved. Kent Wick owns this 1949 Chris Craft named Irish Song. He and his wife Becky brought it all the way up from Idaho and are proudly displaying their piece of history. Wooden boats are just a, a fascinating um, adventure to be in. We bought our boat about two years ago and have taken it many places. In fact, last year the couple took the Irish Song on a 724 kilometer journey along the Snake and Columbia Rivers in the United States. A trip most would not take on a 60-year-old boat. And this boat made it in four days. My wife and I took it down. and uh, So this boat not only is a boat to display at boat shows, but we use it uh, to make long trips, and we also use it with our kids and grandkids to enjoy the water. But recreation is one thing. Preservation and maintenance is another. And these boats sure need a lot of care and attention. These vintage boat enthusiasts don't mind, though. They say it's a labor of love. If you love working with wood and just, just getting out there and polishing it, I suppose it would be the same thing as people with old cars. Same thing. You go out there and you wax them and take them out on Sunday. Many of these boats have been setting out in somebody's barn, field or whatever, and you end up having to restore them. But I think it's the, the beauty of the wood and actually the, the beauty and the grace of them going in the water. They're very soft ride and you enjoy the sound of the old engine and, and, and the tinkering effect too. He only hopes his passion for these wooden beauties is passed down to younger generations. This old guys, uh, what are we going to do when we pass away and our boats are still here? So we hope we can interest some of the younger generation to take, uh, take the delight of having a wooden boat. You never know, because with 4,000 people who took in this year's boat show, among them there just might be some younger ones who took special notice. This is the first year the Okanagan Antique and Classic Boat Show was held in Penticton. For the past 16 years, it's been taking place at the El Dorado in Kelowna. But because of the show's growth and popularity, it needed a bigger venue. From boats to cars now, and there were plenty of... Hi, I'm Sandy Dawson, and welcome to Okanagan Now. Well, this weekend, people from all over came to the Antique and Classic Boat Show here in Penticton. There were so many beautifully restored boats. More and more in the Okanagan, farmers are not only growing the crop, they're selling the product right from their farm. Our first story today takes us to the middle of Kelowna, where Marlis Wolf and her family are growing echinacea. I recently discovered that radio-controlled model airplanes are a big hobby in the Okanagan, and I thought I just might give After it a try. short break, Mike Roberts visits Camp Winfield. You're watching and Okanagan this Now. this week's trivia question, you're watching Okanagan Now. For most of us, going camping is as simple as packing a tent and heading outdoors. But for those with physical and mental challenges, it's just not that easy. Fortunately, there's a camp right here in the Okanagan that caters to those needs, and Mike Roberts has that story. 